Hi, my name is Kuba and I'm a software engineer on the Golem project. Today I'd like to give you a tour of a tool called the Golem Test Harness or GOTH, which I've been working on for the past few months. This video is aimed specifically at developers who are creating applications with Golem. Um, I'm going to begin with explaining the problems that we are trying to solve with the test harness. If you're developing applications for the Golem network, then chances are you've already run uh, into at least one of these problems. Um, the most severe one is the lack of access to the provider logs. So if, for example, one of your tasks has failed, um, there is no easy way for you to take a look at the network client logs from that specific node and see what went wrong. Another one is the availability of the network itself. So sometimes the network may be congested with traffic as it is not very large right now. Um, and other times you may not have enough providers for the specific task that you want to compute. And finally, there is a problem with um, some providers which may, for example, be located far away from you and the network connection is well, not great. So be before I dive into the demo itself, um, I'm going to tell you about Goth and demonstrate how we want to address those issues, um, speeding up your development process and to making it more enjoyable. Um, so yeah, so what is uh, Goth? What is the Golem Test Harness? Um, it's an integration testing framework um, which is capable of setting up a local network of Golem nodes. This network um, is independent of any external components such as the Ethereum blockchain or central service. And additionally, um, Goth provides you with the full logs from all the nodes which are running as part of its network, um, as well as uh, the HTTP traffic that happened between those nodes. In Golem, in Golem we use Goth for writing and uh, running integration tests uh, for Yagna, the, the new Golem client. And today, uh, during this presentation, I'm going to focus more on uh, what we call the, the interactive mode uh, of this project, which will be more of more use to, to you as developers. Uh, let's now take a look at a glance of the, the features of this, of this uh, application, and then I'm going to show you um, how to set it up. So, um, well, the Golem Test Harness um, uses a local blockchain based on Ganache, which is uh, a tool uh, used for Ethereum uh, to deploy a small local blockchain for testing smart contracts in a controlled environment. Um, as I mentioned, we also have access to all the logs. Um, there is all of the steps required to set up uh, a Golem node are automated. Um, and finally, there is the support for controlling those nodes through CLI commands and the Yagna API. All right, um, I mentioned the interactive mode. So uh, what is it specifically? The interactive mode is basically um, just the setup part of, of uh, the test harness. So it takes care of setting up a local network for you and provides you with the details on how you can connect to one of the nodes on this network and more specifically, uh, the requester node. And finally, this interactive mode will keep running for as long as you need. So um, you can execute your application and try and see uh, what's happened and inspect the logs. Okay, so now that we know what the Golem test harness is, uh, well, how do we run it? Um, I'm going to switch over to my web browser now. And this is the, this is the page the GitHub page for, for Goth. Um, you can find it under golemfactory slash Goth. 
and in here we can find the readme which is uh, which explains the whole uh, installation process um, currently there is no um, packaged version of of this of this application uh, so you will have to go through uh, those steps but don't worry this is pretty straightforward and uh, and short um, one thing to note here is that the test harness is currently only supported on Linux and it requires Python 3.8 um, as well as Docker and Docker Compose uh, along with it. Well, I'm not going to be um, going through the whole installation process um, during this video, um, but the things that will be uh, interesting to you and that you will need to go through are going to be linked in this video description. Uh, all right, let's move on to the live demo. Okay, uh, so here is my Ubuntu terminal and this is uh, a freshly cloned um, Golf repo. So I'm going to list it now, there you go. And um, so to run it, uh, as I said, I've already assumed that you have this set up on your machine. Uh, so this, um, this terminal, this shell is actually um, ready to, be, uh, to, to, to run, those, run those tests. So now uh, the command that you need to know to start this in the interactive mode uh, uses a tool called Poetry and a runner called Po, because, well, it's, you know, poetry. Um, so we say poetry run Po interactive um, and hit return. So now we should see um, the logs from Dust Harness itself. This is the setup process, which may take a bit longer on, on your machine, since for me, most of these things are already cached, so there is no downloading involved. Um, so right now we are setting up the local network. Um, as you can see, we already have some IP addresses here. And now we have the message um, that we expect from the, from the interactive mode, which basically tells you what environment you need to, in order to connect to this um, requester node that is running inside the network. And this uh, this specific uh, sample command uh, assumes that you will be using uh, YAP API, so the Python API um, for Yagna, and this is the this is the app that I will be running uh, with this network. Again, uh, if you need to if you need some reference, uh, you can find the links in the video description. Okay, so let me open up a window with YAP API. So this is the one on the bottom. Uh, again, this is this is a, a cloned repo basically. Um, this is Golem Factory slash Yap API. And yeah, so this uh, the the command that you see above um, is basically all you need to know uh, when you need when you want to connect to this uh, to this node. So there is the app key for this uh, for this Yagna Yagna daemon. Uh, there is its API URL uh, and also the subnet because we, we do use the concept of subnets uh, so that we are sure that we are running uh, inside the Golf subnet and not uh, on the actual uh, Golem network. Okay, so I'm going to paste this command from above and switch over to the terminal on the bottom, paste it in. Uh, as you can see from the path, uh, what we're actually running is a, a Blender example. <laughs> it's a classic one. Uh, and this example should run on our local network and not on the actual um, Golem network, like outside. Okay, I'm going to start running it now. So we can see that we have some proposals and if you look at the terminal window above, you can see now we have activity started. 
meaning that Goth has actually detected that we're doing something uh, within its network. So yeah, tasks are, tasks are being computed. Um, this should be done in a moment. And once we're done, I'm going to show you what information we can get from running this uh, with Goth. Okay, so this is now finished. Um, first of all, let's take a look at what Docker has to say about its running containers. So we have a bunch of those. The most interesting ones are the first three. So there are two providers and there's also one requester, the one that we've actually been connecting to. Apart from those, um, there is a part which is required for the network to run. So there is a, a part which is responsible for the payments, the Ethereum as well as the ZK Sync uh, images. And otherwise we have the HTTP proxy that we'll see the logs from in a moment. And finally we have uh, the router which is responsible for routing the traffic between the nodes in this, in this network. Mm, okay, so as you can see, if you need to log in to a specific container and see what's happening inside of it, uh, you can you can do it through like regular Docker commands. Um, okay, so there is one thing, one more thing that I wanted to show you, which are the logs from from the test harness itself. Um, by default, these logs are located at TMP or your other temporary um, directory slash golf tests. Okay, so here we, we're going to have a number of those and these are timestamped. Um, they are from my previous um, test runs. So the most recent one is, is this one. So let's uh, let's switch switch that directory, and well, what we have is at the top level we have the proxy log, which is the HTTP proxy um, capture traffic, uh, and we have the runner log, which is basically the same that we've seen in the terminal window from from Goth, only with debug level enabled. And finally, there is one directory here, which is called test interactive VM. And uh, this refers specifically to um, the local network that we are running. So if we go there and list it, we have logs from all of the containers which we're running as part of this, of this setup. And for providers, as you can see, we also have the logs from the, from the provider agents. Right, so what, what, can we, um, what can we learn from these logs? Um, so let me open up, for example, provider one agent. And as you can see, this is a regular Rust log with debug level. Um, and we can, for example, we can just type in activity and go looking for when we actually accepted one. That's, that's one thing. Um, this is a bit a bit verbose since this is um, a debug level. Um, right, so let me jump up here and then let's take a look at the proxy log. So um, the proxy log is basically a, hi a history of the network traffic between the Yagna demons and, and their respective agents. And as you can see, um, this has a full sort of history of what was going on, um, including like specific requests and the responses and the body. Um, so this is pretty detailed uh, if you need to uh, actually inspect something like going wrong with uh, the co with your communication between, uh, between the nodes. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it, I suppose, um, when it comes to uh, to those logs. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to switch switch back to 
our console windows here. Once you're done uh, with running your, your tests, you can simply simply hit control C in your um, golf terminal window. And this should stop with some with some rather not pretty messages, let's say. Um, but in general, uh, what happens is that golf also performs a cleanup um, of all the Docker stuff that it, ha it has uh, created. So if we do the same commands for listing running containers now, um, this, this list is going to be empty. So there is like there are no, uh, they are not left um, hanging on your machine. And which means that if you, for example, wants to inspect an actual um, container, you will need to do this uh, like one uh, when the network is running because otherwise it's it's going to be to be removed. Okay, I hope this was helpful, and um, I think that you can benefit from from using this uh, this interactive mode uh, for testing your applications. Um, once again, uh, if like if you want to use this, if you want to uh, run the same example. Uh, please take a look at uh, the, this video's description. So there's going to be a link to uh, how to set up the test harness itself, how to set up uh, YAP API, so the program that I was using for this specific demo. Um, but if you would like to use it with your own application, um, then all you need to do is accept the same um, environment that was given to YAP API and use it to connect to Yagna yourself. Okay, thanks for watching and see you later.